95.7 The Hog, the Morning Hog Brew Review time. It's here. It's Morning Hog Happy Hour. And that means Josh Messar Perron has brought us flavors from Press Premium Alcohol Seltzers. Get ready to drink up. It's the Morning Hog on 95.7 The Hog. Hey, it's Morning Hog Brew Review time. Morning Hog Happy Hour is always great because we're already happy. And then Josh Messar Perron shows up and we got a Morning Hog Brew Review. Hi, buddy. Hey. You know, I saw you roll in, and you had this cooler with you, and you brought these cans out. They're very nondescript. I thought these were like blank, like undercover cans. Kind of. Just a very sleek line of product right here. Agreed. Very sexy, I right. would say, if I, if I could say that about a... Talking about me or... The... No, 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 the cans. Oh. The cans. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, it's all right. Misunderstanding. Like yeah, yeah. Sorry, Josh. Anyway. Yeah. Mi- mi- uh, distract you. All right, so <laughs> no. what are we getting into today? I see the word press. And there you go. Press. Yeah. Okay. It's a premium alcohol seltzer. Oh. Okay. Yep. You may have seen it before. Um, they have some really cool flavors. They're not just like those straight lemon flavors and lime or anything like that. Okay. So we'll get into it today. There's two different variety packs. Um, all these are going to be four percent alcohol. Okay. Uh, they do that. They say so you can taste the flavors a little bit more. Okay. That way you, you know your palate's not being overwhelmed by the alcohol itself. Um, I so we're gonna st- yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we'll start off with their uh, signature variety pack. This is pomegranate ginger. Okay. Mm. Pomegranate. So, um, would, would it be fair to say that they should use the slogan, uh, meet the press? Like, oh. You know, like, meet, Whoa, the, meet the press? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, right. We'll, uh, we'll send that along. Yeah, we'll, yeah, go ahead ahead and we'll go ahead and Great coin job, that. Steve. Write it down. Yeah. Meet, meet, meet the, the yep. press. Steve's going to write that down. M E E T. Yeah. M E E T. They can take a job. T H E. Meet the press. Okay. Because his spell check is going to spell it M E A T by mistake. All right. So, pomegranate ginger. Pomegranate and ginger. Yeah, so these are 12 pack varieties. Four it's, flavors. Mm. Uh, three. That's a lot of flavors. There you go. Look at that. He finally, a lot of he's finally got it. Hey. Oh, oh, is there math? I delicious. totally missed it. Yeah. Sorry. So this particular flavor yep. isn't too far off the reservation. Okay. Um, but once we oh. kind of get into it, you'll you'll definitely have some very unique flavors. And that's one of my favorite things about mm. press is they're not afraid to, you know, combine some stuff you're not usually used to seeing, especially yeah. in the hard seltzer realm. Okay. That's really good, BTW. Very good. Have you ever, and a four percent. I mean, you can go. You can go with these. Worry about wow. that. Wow. And I, I wouldn't call these hint of flavor. Right. And I wouldn't call these full flavor. Yeah, but, yeah. but you're definitely getting the flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's very not, clean too. Not, not too. Not over sweet. Would you say that it's a premium clean? Say, say I yes, would. Steve. Good job. Good call. I would definitely say that. <laughs> it's really Steve's following the lead. Uh, all right. Josh is cracking up a can, too. We're rolling. Yeah, we got a lot of cans to go like through. This. So Let's go. Wow. Well, we'll crack through them, and I'll talk a little bit more here in a second. Uh, the next one here is Blackberry Hibiscus. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Hibiscus, is a f- I know, is a flower. I know that. Yes, it is yeah. a flower. Look at you. Yeah. Do you know Good what a blackberry is? I don't know. So these are, uh, like I said, 4% alcohol, 110 calories a piece. Um, there is a little bit of sugar in here, about 5 Ooh. grams or so. So you are getting a little bit of sweetness, which is nice. Um, sometimes that gets a little lost. And um, some of the seltzers out there can be a little bit bitter, which is not enjoyable, yeah. especially after one or two of them. Um, and then flavor, or like ingredient-wise, yeah, water, malt, citric acid, fructose, natural flavors. Mm. You went to like that, uh, Josh is... Brings us uh, the brew review each week from SR Prot because you know he went to like beer school, right? He went to like uh, you know school for this. No, I just drink a lot. Of yeah, beer. but do you find that sometimes <laughs> when you take a drink like this and if you swivel your head, it'll help move it across your different taste? Oh, parts? absolutely. You know, there, there's a lot of science behind different like that? factions of flavor and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, you, could, I mean, you could move your tongue too, but I'm like, well, if, why don't you just move your head? Yeah, yeah. Well, your whole body at the point. Just yeah, yeah. shake a little bit. Yeah, like I'll just, a lot of times I'll drink to music and I'll put on the song and I'll just drink to that and it, it helps me taste more flavors. Right. You know? Just a fun That's brew. Straight it's a, science. It's right a fun there. brew review fact right there. Yeah. Number two for the year. <laughs> Good thing we're closing <laughs> out. I'm, we're wow. closing out strong. <laughs> we're really closing out strong. All right. That's really, I, I enjoy that flavor a lot. What's next? Ditto. I like the, the description for that particular one. It says luscious berries. It is luscious. Totally agree. So lime and lemongrass. Ooh. So not lemon lime, really? lime okay. and lemon. It, this is oh. lime and lemongrass. Okay. So what's the difference between lemons and lemongrass? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to try to <laughs> do completely, <laughs> completely different things. <laughs> hmm. Well, one's grass. I know that. Gotcha. And then one's like a fruit, right? Yeah. This oh, pretty much wow. explains it. As soon as you smell this, you know what you're getting into. Sure. 
That smells delicious. I'll have to Google you some pictures of, of, of lemon next to lemongrass. <laughs> <laughs> Please do oh, it. Wow. it. Will you copy me all that wow. email too? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Like, Certainly. Oh, that's a very that's wow. a very refreshing flavor yeah. right there. It's my favorite by far. Oh, that is refreshing. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's pretty nice. damn good. Mm. It almost gives me uh, a certain uh, soda vibe. Yes. Yes. But with a little bit of extra right. something from that, like yeah. the like lemongrass itself. Something like a spit. No. Yeah. Like a like uh, a like if it had a four percent attached to it, that would be way better. Right. Right. That's what that's what these <laughs> got right here. Thank you, press, for making that happen. Uh, all right. Well, since we are press, technically we're media, right? Or me, we're we're press media oh, yeah, people. I, okay. uh, we were allowed to have this fourth can before we take a break, right? That's yeah. How, that's so how here's here's one I, I don't think I've ever seen. Okay. Uh, this is grapefruit cardamom. Mm. Grapefruit who? Cardamom. Whoa, cardamom. Card- cardamom. Card- Am I saying that right? Cardamom. I don't know. Now you. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm going. With, I'm, oh, you know what? It's card a mom. Oh, whoa. Really? Yeah, it's probably right. a good idea. All right. It's all right. We can say you it know, how my, we, we can say was, how we want to say it. Just matters how it tastes. My mom was carded recently. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. I was there when your mom got mm-hmm. carded. She said, "What?" Steve's mom got carded for uh, buying yeah. an alcoholic drink. Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah, True story. Awesome. She is well past her forties. All right. Did I mention this is gluten removed as well? No. There you go. So Whoa. Another, another cleaner aspect. Hello. You probably did yeah. mention it, but I, I want to put that out there again. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is very. Oh, this is very light. Very light. Mm. Oh, that's good too. Wow. I don't know what the cardamom is, but these are all delicious. It's really good. Super. I mean, you said it earlier. These are super clean tasting. Yeah. There's no yeah. weird, you know, aftertaste or anything like that. The flavors are clearly there. It's not overwhelming anything like that. Yeah. Um. I actually have some pretty cool facts we'll talk about after the break. You want to take a break? Yeah. I, I tell you what, I'll press the break button. You press more press coming up on the Morning Hog Brew Review. Uh, on 95.7 The Hog. I'm impressed. You get it? 95.7 The Hog, Morning Hog Brew Review time. Thanks for coming back. Josh Messar Parat right there who brought us the brews that we are enjoying today. Uh, brews, not beer this time. All right, Josh, these are premium press, alcohol seltzers. Press premium alcohol seltzers. That's right. I don't like it. I like that we pressed open four cans. We got four more to press through. Let's do it. Yeah, so we just did their signature variety pack. We're going to jump over to their select variety pack. And this is where the flavors get a little more interesting. Okay. okay. I mean, the, the ones we just had were pretty interesting. But these, uh, I, I'm going to venture to say you probably haven't had uh, these mixtures before. Okay. So the first one I'm going to start with is pear chamomile. Chamomile? Nope. Chamomile? Never. Chamomile? Never. Never. I Never love had. pears. He is a, 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 a pears of what? <laughs> Here's a pants him. from your neighbor. Give it to him. Oh! Pairs with diamond rings on the floor. Mm. Steve at Publix. is the biggest pear enthusiast huh? that I know. Never he mind. goes, <laughs> he will shun stores just because of their poor pear selection. Yes. Really? That's fun yes, fact. I do. Another morning hog fun, yeah. fun, fun fact. True story. Okay. I said it wrong. Oh, wow. It smells mm. delicious already. Okay. Mm. So it should have a, a unique uh, oh. vanilla like flavor. I've had nothing like this before. Chamomile. Wow. Chamomile. So chamomile, okay. I know from tea, right? Oh. Well, I, hear, I hear that word for tea. I don't drink tea, but I've heard it. Wow. Um, and then pears, I know, grow on trees. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think. They do. It's a fruit. I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm not yeah. a pear specialist on that one. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. That's Steve. <laughs> Steve told me that. I, I got that one from Steve. It's a, That's really it's a half, good. It's a half point for me, but wow. That's a very uh, unique taste. I really appreciate how unique these are. Yeah, like really. stepping outside and, the bounds yeah. a little bit, and you know, we've all had a million of the same different flavored seltzers out there. No matter the brand, some, it's always replicated. They don't have mm. any of those straight flavors. They have all these interesting mixed flavors. And these are That's pretty cool. Stuff. Yeah, no, thank you for doing that, Press, because we could just go down the same path, but this is all new. It's like you're just grabbing stuff and throw. I would love to be in the boardroom at Press, where they're like, "I got it." Speaking of which. They're still independently owned and operated. Okay. Um, it is female owned. Really? Uh, really? And the founder out in the Midwest, she was actually making this stuff in her kitchen and then took off from there back in 2015, I believe it was. Bro. Kudos to her. Let me just, right? say, let me just say that if you, if you were out at a party or whatever and, and somebody was like, I got, some, I got some stuff in my refrigerator. <laughs> right. Yeah. You'd be like, wait a second. Right. Until you got this in your, in your palate and then you're like, oh, this is great. Mm. So paired. press it out. What are we That's going to good. next? What's up? Mm. So this one here is pineapple basil. Uh oh. Okay, I love pineapple. Never thought about putting basil 
in your drink. Oh man, um, I've had you know basil I mean? in, in quite really? a few different yeah. drinks. Oh, mm. this is delightful. Whoa, right? Ooh, it's almost wild. got like a caramel in there. <laughs> yeah, or right. Uh, that's it? especially on the back end. There. Yeah, it's it's um, especially or caramel. I don't know. It it's caramel. That's no, it's caramel. Oh, uh oh, oh no! Here we go. Uh oh, it's on now. <laughs> I don't listen to anybody with unsalted uh. French fries. <laughs> I'll bring that right back up. <laughs> Woo! Oh, In ballet. End of the year oh, burn right boy. there. Hi, Steve. Oh, boy. Mm. This is this is super great. excellent. Now, this is in a different variety pack. Oh, wow, Yes, man. so this is in their select variety pack. Select variety pack. Yep. Mm. Select this. Wow. So, I believe it's the select wow. pack. Um, my man. signature, I'll have to double check. But if you are around today in your Publixes this afternoon, mm. I believe it's from 5 to 8 p.m. Okay. Uh, they will be sampling in about 13 Publixes between uh, Evolution and Flagler County. Really? Um, so you may have to call ahead to find out if that year store is doing the sampling. Okay. But, uh, you know, it's a great chance to go out there, try the product, buy a 12-pack. Oh, it's, it's a brilliant That's idea. fantastic. Yep. But you can also You're find gonna it. You're going to want these. Total Wine and Local Independence. Yep. Or you can always check out our website. SRProd.com slash Spearfinder. Spearfinder. So, so is the basil on this kind of what gives it not like, uh, it, I mean, you, know you, what? you taste pineapple, but it, like Rick said, it kind of has a caramel flavor to it. Normally, uh, I would be able to answer that question, but I have never had basil in a seltzer or yeah. a beer that I can think of. I've had it in like liquor cocktails before, yeah. and it's pretty identifiable. Um this is just so interesting that I can't tell you where that particular flavor really is coming good, from, but I'd dude. imagine it's the combination of the two. Mm. That's a Damn. Josh. Very that's, cool. That's a Josh Stumper right mm. there. We just got. But I'll tell you, that's very, very good. And I've never tasted mm. anything like that yeah. before. Me neither. So, that's great. Nice job. Nice mm-hmm. job, Press. Uh, and there's still two more. We yeah. might have another never Holy before. Holy moly. What's the next? Lingonberry. Oh, yeah. Who? Lingonberry. The Swedish. Yep. They got them at Ikea. You can buy them and in bags. Older flower. Oh, Eld. Whoa, this is a Swedish cocktail That's right here. a lot here. of syllables you got Let's there. Let's get into it. Press, you are really mm. dazzling me with your berry selection, too. Ooh, smell that. It's almost like cotton candy. I mean, and these all are cheers to you. clear. Mm. Like, that smell like yes. that, that does matter to some people that they're not mm. using any weird uh, coloring additives or anything. These are all clear seltzers. Yeah. Yeah. I want this I want this as an aroma to spritz Ooh, on my pillows like before it. I fade away to sleep each night. Wow. Mm-hmm. I've never had lingonberry before. Yeah. You can get their juice mm. at Ikea, or you can yeah. just get it here. I just get the Swedish and meatballs. Press, yeah. yeah don't. I'm there for the meatballs. Yeah, this is uh, this is another <laughs> great one. I've never frame. tasted anything like this before. And a $14 like end table that's going to break in three weeks. The only thing I can talk about <laughs> or relate it to is that maybe if you put an entire pack of Smarties in your mouth at once. You know what? Yes. I was about to go either Sweet Tarts or Smarties, some, yeah. somewhere in that direction. But definitely yeah. on the exhale, you're getting that very yeah. same uh, so good. vibe. Oh, I want to... And, and and this is at four percent. It's doing a much better job than the Smarties do. Of I'm making me feel warm. blown away by these flavors. I've I've had press before in the past, but it's been a while since I've personally revisited it. Um, and this may be uh, in my fridge here later. Yeah. Wow. All right, press. Maybe I'll drop by one of those public samplings, and you might see me out there in the Deland area. I'm gonna, we're gonna be looking for you. Yeah. Yeah. Stop by and get your autograph. autograph. There you go. That's a little spoiler. Uh, so. Not so much. Okay. All right. One more. <laughs> what is uh, what is uh residing as the unopened can the lone soldier so i figured we'd finish with uh kind of what i want to call dessert at this point yeah oh it's apple cinnamon oh uh oh okay another i can't think of anybody else doing that i was we're just in gonna the, say i've never heard we're in the last month of, of the year it's, it's a holiday vibe right steve's probably got an apple cinnamon candle he's gonna bring into well, the studio I have soon apple anyway cinnamon cheerios yeah okay but never an apple cinnamon drink a drink oh that's Aren't, got a well that's got a bunch of cinnamon in the snout right there Cheerio. Ooh, Cheerios apple, just apple cinnamon? Yeah, that's so no, it's honey nut. Uh, no, uh, apple jacks or apple jacks. Apple cinnamon. jacks. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah. Apple jacks. Come on, Josh. Ooh. I don't. I'm not a cereal guy. Come oh. on now. Mm. Get with the program. I'm, oh, tr- I'm trying, dude. Mm. Mm. You're right. Ooh, Ooh, strong cinnamon good. nose. This is like a uh, oh a little holiday. Uh, I can imagine like, you mixing this mixing this up in a bowl in, yeah. your, in your kitchen. Dude, this is so good. Oh, this is great. That dude. that spot. Yeah. That's a That's holiday really vibe right good. there. I'm ready for Christmas now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want I want some French toast, and I want to like wrestle a bear, <laughs> and I want to drive a car, uh, you know, like just in my garage around like a toy car. And uh, <laughs> is French toast like a, a Christmas? 
Oh yeah. Oh okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's when I make it. That's when I, I get. A, I make it in my own uh, kitchen, a French town. I, I would yeah. hope. Yeah, I hope you'll come over sometime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I make it shirtless, but yeah, well, so that's I, fine. You get a lot of syrup on me and stuff, so I don't want to get on my shirt. Oh, really? Perfect. Um, so I mean, this is the other sample. So this variety pack, or both of these variety packs, right? We can find where. I, uh, Publix definitely on one of them, yeah. um, but I would always check out our website. It's always going to be the fastest and easiest way. Uh, but Total Wine. Maybe some ABCs, local independents. Um, but Type in srprod.com slash beer finder and then press enter. Oh, look right? at you. Oh. Right? I know. I got that for you. Uh, well, wow. Pants. As we press toward Christmas, this has been oh. a, a fabulous, fabulous Yeah, a lot sample. of fun flavors in there. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Press. Cheers to you. Cheers. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs>